In 2008, Greater Wellington Regional Council brought two old electric trains back into public service to help meet the demand for rail commuter services in the Wellington region. The English electric units, which were built in the late 1930s, are now in their 70s and finally being replaced by Matangi. Greater Wellington is proud to have worked closely with these companies who have pulled resources, knowledge and experience to bring together a final product commuters will enjoy. The new Matangi's most exciting features are the improved accessibility, increased passenger capacity and public information systems. Since the Greater Wellington Regional Council's commuter rail business case was approved, engineers, technicians, unions and commuter user groups have been working together to design the new trains. The manufacturing contract was awarded to South Korean company Hyundai Rotem. A full-size replica was constructed for extensive consultation and development discussion after which the firm was given the go-ahead for manufacturing to begin. Matangi is a 21st century train built by a company with a proven track record in producing modern rolling stock. With state-of-the-art driver interfaces for complete train safety and control, Wellington's new trains meet international standards in rail passenger transport. This will be a new world for commuters, staff and engineers alike. Among the onboard systems are improved CCTV for customer safety. Fully computerised systems help engineers to proactively identify problems. This means greater fleet reliability and fewer disruptions. After manufacture in Korea, they are loaded into huge vehicle carrying vessels known as PCT carriers and shipped from Korea to Wellington Harbour. Here they are rolled off the ship still on their transportation trailers. The journey takes, on average, three to four weeks and is overseen by specialised crew who have moved everything from helicopters to escalators. As the first train was rolled off the Isoldi and onto Aotea Key at 5am, key staff from Greater Wellington, Kiwi Rail and Hyundai Rotem were on site to ensure the operation went smoothly. When the English electrics were brought here from the UK, they were lifted onto Aotea Key using none other than Wellington's own steam crane, the Hikatea. Today, the skilled services of New Zealand crane hire were used to lower this, the first of 96 cars to arrive. It seemed most appropriate that Wellington's wind was to unveil the very first Matangi lowered onto New Zealand rails. The process from ship to depot, where most of the initial commissioning will take place, involves coupling the two coaches together to form the dual carriage train and then shunting the train by diesel locomotive from the quay to the rail yards. Since the arrival of the first unit, rigorous testing and commissioning has been conducted to ensure the trains meet local and international rail and land transport safety standards. Alongside this, staff training and familiarisation is carried out. On the 9th of September 2010, Greater Wellington hosted the official launch of the new Matangi units on Platform 9 at Wellington Station. Kia ora and a warm welcome, everybody. I'm Dave Benham, I'm the Chief Executive of uh, Greater Wellington. It's a great pleasure to welcome you all here today on this very... This is a wonderful moment to be able to get off the train. Six weeks ago at five in the morning, we were out there on the docks. <laughs> These trains are a breath of fresh air for Wellington rail users. Virtually a replacement of the entire rail network system while we have kept it going. So thank you all for your patience. For your support from the very beginning of this project. And I, can I say that's a very sexy looking car? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Following a walkthrough by invited guests, including members of parliament and local mayors, the public were invited on board the new train for the very first time. Then it was back to the depot for more testing. The weights seen here are to simulate the weight of passengers. This is for one of the many series of tests that require fine-tuning of the braking systems. 
ensuring the train can stop both in a required time and under various load conditions. This is crucial on an incline such as the Johnsonville line, where these trains will be running regularly. With the subsequent arrival of more units in the country, testing has progressed from single unit test runs to those involving two or more trains coupled together. It is important to run these tests because seamless communication between the trains is paramount to a safe and reliable service. It has been well worth the wait for the new Martangi trains. These sleek modern units that have been built for Wellington's unique conditions mark a new and exciting era in train travel for the commuters in the region. competition to name the new trains. Um, I came up with the name Matangi. Um, it started um, when I was getting off the train one day. There were people handing out um, flyers, inviting um, the public to um, come up with a name, to name the new trains that would um, come in a, a year or two later. Uh, there were some little guidelines on the, on the flyer about what the sort of name they were looking for. Um, but, had to be a, have a New Zealand flavour, um, relate to the Wellington area, um, and they wanted it nice and short, um, seven letters or, or fewer. So um, I thought about Wellington and um, maybe a new breath of fresh air for the for the train system, and I thought of um, perhaps a Maori word for for wind or breeze, that type of thing, um, reflecting the Wellington and the the New Zealand flavour to it. So I went through a dictionary, the Maori dictionary, and came up with uh, Matangi, which I I thought it was nice and easy to pronounce and um, put my entry in and yeah, luckily I was uh, successful. I was selected, that's pretty cool. Yeah.